Hello friends, followers and channel members and welcome to another video here with me in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today we're going to be looking at performing an RNAV or RNP approach here in the simulator using the FPA mode. Now the reason we're using the FPA mode, which stands for Flight Path Angle, is because we cannot use the Approach Mode button at the moment in a RNAV approach. And that is because the way that the fly by wire team are developing the aircraft at the moment it's basically inoperative. So ordinarily what we would do is once we were uh, ready to capture an ILS on an ILS approach we turn on the approach mode and the aircraft would descend with the glide slope on the correct uh, on the correct angle all the way down to the runway intercepting the localizer as well of course. Well with an RNAV approach or RNP approach it's not quite the same. So on an RNAV approach you will get the direction to track and the altitude comes from information that is hard coded into the aircraft's computer. So it would know at what angle it needs to descend and at what, how far from the runway what height the aircraft needs to be at. That would then allow us to turn on the approach mode and perform an RNAV approach. Unfortunately this doesn't work at the moment so what we have to do is we have to use FPA, we have to use the flight path angle. So let me explain a little bit about how we're going to do this approach. We're currently um, circling Belfast Airport for this tutorial and we're going to make an RNP approach to runway 07 at Belfast. So the start of the approach is just here at Lurgu. We want to be at 4,000 feet. After that, the aircraft in nav mode is going to track the line to 071, and from there it's going to head towards Alpha Alpha 07 Fox. Now this is the last waypoint before the runway. And if we scroll down on the charts, you can see at this point we need to be at 2,500 feet and this is where we start our descent at a flight path angle of 3 degrees. Now 3 degrees is a normal uh, descent angle for an ILS as well. So how do we do this in FPA mode and tell the aircraft that we want to descend at 3 degrees and when do we tell the aircraft to start descending at 3 degrees? That's what we're going to be looking at doing for this approach. So. We're currently inbound to Lurgu. Lurgu you can see down here on the navigation display. And as we want to get down to 2,500 feet by this point just here, the mandatory altitude, we also want to be configured for this descent as well. So we want at least flaps two out before we get to this point. So my aircraft is already in the approach phase and we're now just going to enter managed mode so that the aircraft begins slowing down. If you're unsure what the approach phase is, go and check out my uh, tutorials on uh, on the approach and landing, and that will show you and explain to you what the approach phase does. So as we've now entered manage speed, we're now descending down towards our green dot speed. We're then going to get flaps one out, and then followed shortly by flaps two. So we're now about to overfly at Lurgu and we're now on our way to Alpha Alpha 071. We now need to start descending to 2,500 feet. So let's go ahead and tell the aircraft to, uh, to do that. So set 2,500 feet, pull that, so we get thrust idle, open descent, 2,500 feet is in blue. And we can also now get flaps one out as well. So once we reach S speed, our aircraft will start descending. One thing as well that you need to make sure you have correct for an RNAV and RMP approach is you need to ensure you've got the correct QNH. And that is because as we will be starting our uh, descent at 7.1 miles from the runway threshold, and we need to be at 2,500 feet, you need to make sure that you've got the correct uh, Q&H 
so that you are at 2,500 feet and nothing else. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell the aircraft to start descending at 3 degrees when we are 0 0.3 miles away from this fix. It takes the aircraft zero, around 0 0.3 miles to begin its descent, which is why we select it at 0 0.3 miles away. So we're now going to push this center button, which allows us to change the aircraft from VS mode to FPA mode. And as you can see, we are 3 miles away. 2.9 miles away now. And let's start slowing the aircraft down a little bit more. So, flaps 2. And what the aircraft will then do is it will follow this nav line, this navigation line, all the way to the airport and we're just going to tell it to descend at the correct rate. There we can see the airport in front of us. And we're 1.3 miles away now. So we're just watching for this at 0.3 miles away. We're going to tell it to start descending. You don't need to switch the altitude. The altitude makes no difference. Okay, so it's just jumped to the next waypoint. That's fine. We were getting pretty close to 0 0.3 miles, so now let's descend at 3 degrees. And down we go. Notice now the fly-by-wire team have coded in the vertical deviation brick. Now, this works a little bit like a glide stop. So as you can see, we are a little bit below the glide stop. The alarm's just chiming because we've deviated from the 2,500 feet that we'd set. We can clear that and as per the chart we need to be able to be visual with the runway at 520 feet well as we can already see the runway we will be able to bring this in manually now if you can see that we're just a little bit below our vertical profile there you could slow that rate of descent down by a few points of a degree. We're five miles away, so let's get the gear down. We also want to go flaps three. And of course, we can go flaps full as well shortly after that. We'd then run our landing checklist. And as you can see, we slowed that rate of descent down and that brick is now coming back in line. Once that brick becomes almost in line, we can set our three degree descent path again. At this point, we're coming up to around a thousand feet, so I'd be tempted to do this visually. However, if the weather wasn't quite as good, we can still continue to use our FPA mode. So there we are, descending nicely at 3 degrees, using the vertical deviation as a guide as well to make sure everything is correct. And we're now 1,000 feet. Now we're nice and visual with the runway, so I could take autopilot off now. However, I could leave it on as late as 520 feet if I wished. And as you can see, we're still on a nice path just there. One thing we must do once we turn autopilot off, however, is turn off the flight directors. When using uh, the track FPA mode, you do not want flight directors turned on for, uh, for this. So if I turn flight director 2 off, turn off our autopilot, flight director 1 is off, I'm now flying this manually and we can use the puppies as a guide as well. And you can see a small discrepancy between the vertical deviation brick and the puppies. That's fine. Don't worry about this too much now. Look out the window and use what you can see 
as uh, as you guide and the pappies, of course. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten, five. And there we are. We're down. So hopefully this video will have shown you how you can still perform RNAV and RMP approaches using the FPA mode rather than the approach mode which currently doesn't work here in the fly-by-wire version. It will come soon and ordinarily what you should be able to do is use the APR mode like you would do for a ILS. Um, but until then we can use FPA just like that to get us down on the ground nice and safely. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll come back and uh, try and help you with the, uh, with the answers. Other than that, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.